Okay guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be installing this tub. That's where it's going to be. We'll have to move it because I got to tap into that line there. That's the main. So what I'm going to have to do, see where the valve is? Right behind that leg. So I'm going to try to move that valve back here. And, um, and that's just going to split off. That would be no problem if I just wanted cold water, but Monkey wants hot water too. So, um, so what we're going to do in here this ugly thing is going to leave. I'm just going to put a whole new piece of pipe up here. At least, you know, only have one coupler there come up. That's the inlet for the cold. I wouldn't have to do anything to that. That would be fine, but I don't like the looks of that. But then I got to split off this. This is my hot hot water, so I got to split off that, come over and come down. And down there at the bottom, there's a piece of copper pipe that's shoved through there. That, as you can see, someone filled with caulking. So um, I'm going to take that out of there and run through the wall. And um, once I do that, then it's going to go out and straight up. But the first thing I'm going to do, I've got to pressure off the lines. So I'm going to get me a towel. i got a towel right here I'm going to put up here. I'm going to take this off because i got to split this and I want to straighten this up. I don't like that. It just looks bad. And then I'm going to route this another way. So I'm not going to film it all. I'll film some, speed you up through it. I'm just kind of sharing with you what I'm going to be doing today. Um, it's not really how to because there's a lot of fittings and stuff and a lot of measuring and cussing and stuff like that. That, um, you know, we don't know anything about plumbing. Just leave that to someone that does. I'm fortunate enough to know, you know, I installed this unfortunately I got the long too long of a hose well both of them is too long but that's okay I'm gonna change them out sometime that's not a big deal so what I'm gonna do is get started on that first thing I'm gonna do is unhook this hot water line here and I'm just gonna get me a crescent wrench or something and put on there and spin that off and get my towel up here Hot water tanks off by the way so that's 220 you don't want to get water running down into here <laughs> so all right guys um, we're going to do that one first well I'm going to do that first and then I'm just going to replace I'm just going to bring this out a little bit over this way and then down I got a 10 foot section out there and I also have these here. So, okay guys, let's go ahead and get into this. do this one because then that one I'm not working behind you know the other one so I gotta extend this one over looks uh, about like I 
about eight inches. And I'm going to cut that off down there at the bottom. Well, maybe not at the bottom. Uh, first, I got to go cut my 10 foot section in half. And to do that, I'm going to be using this cutter here. So, real handy dandy thing. So, I'm going to use this. Dust boots coming out of them. All right. So let me go get that cut in half, and then I'm going to go from there. Hang on. All right. Sorry I was in your way, but you get the idea. I'm, I'm not going to have quite enough. I'm going to be lacking about five inches <laughs> to run a whole piece on both of them so so I'm going to do it that way um, now i got to cut the one off the top and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did here right there just going to cut it off right there and it's going to bring that out some more so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're not really going to miss anything. Just the same thing as I did right here. There was more water drained out than what I expected. I had this shut off for the... This is actually the cold goes in and hot goes out. Um, so... But, see, once, once it goes through the wall there goes straight up and then across the attic <laughs> so above the ceiling so that was a lot of water that came out so it's not a big deal I'm on concrete here so all right guys let me get that cut off okay guys I'm gonna speed you up for this I'm just gonna put this T section in here with this elbow down and um, so I'll put you on fast forward I had to go back to the store because I got some wrong size stuff well, it was the right size, but it was wrong outside and inside diameter. You guys know what I'm... Well, if you have ever done plumbing, you know what I'm talking about. So, all right, here we go. Let's do this.
Okay, so now I'm going to cut me off a piece to go across. I would have had enough. I haven't even cut into that 10 footer yet. So I would have had enough to come one whole stick off this other one, but it'll be alright. That's going to be almost perfect where I want it to be. Um, let me get an elbow. Marty, you have two. I know. Because I want to, I don't want them in perfect, well, I do want them perfectly in line over here. But I'm thinking of future. Like over here, perfectly in line, but I'm thinking in the future if I gotta work on one, you know, I don't have to like get behind one. It'll be over here, over here somewhere, so. Let's see here. So, I'm gonna bring it almost to the wall. I'm gonna cut it off. I'm going to cut it off right at that L. Right here. Whoops. Right here. Alright guys, so let me get this cut off. And we'll get this glued in. Okay, again, I'm going to speed you up. Alright, there's that. I had a friend of mine I used to work kind of for but with him and his friend um, would they um, they were contractors they did carpentry work, plumbing work, stuff like that and they would uh, you know like give me small jobs so I was like subcontractor right so but <clears throat> I never did much plumbing around him unless it was soldering, which wasn't very often. Most people go with these now or they go with that PEX stuff now, but um, I seen him, he hated any of that that um, that primer that you put on, it's, it's like an alcohol base, that purple stuff. I seen him one time, he ran a stick up a wall, it was about nine feet. It went up a wall. It was about a nine foot stick. And he had the bottom hooked up. He was getting ready to go up, hook up the top, and he was putting it on real nice and neat. And all at once it, it ran down that. It had a nice perfect purple line, almost perfect, but you know, down that uh that pipe. He replaced the whole damn pipe. He said, Nope. I don't like so I was getting <laughs> You know, I always got all kinds of free stuff that wasn't used because if it got purple on it, he didn't like that. Or blue or whatever color the primer was, you know. He didn't like that. But yeah, he, he cut that section out and got him another 10 footer, cut it off 9 feet. That's what he did. He, Yeah, he says, I, that bugs me. I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, perfectionist. Good, good carpenter, man. The, the guy could, could build anything. So, uh, Alright, now we're going to run now I need to go cut my pipe off and I'm going to run it down there into the pipe that's going outside. Alright, now I'm going to put an elbow down here 
on the bottom of this. I think I'll be in your way. But I'll speed it up. I'll try not to be in your way, but... Uh, getting in your way now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's put this on here. I gotta go outside. After this, I'll, I'll be outside working. And it's pouring down rain. Well, it was a minute ago, so... Alright, let me see if I can do this without... Being too difficult here. Alright. Now... Back out here. I'll show you what we got. Here's what we did. That looks a little better. Like I said, that'll be a lot better once I shorten these hoses up. Come from here down to there. From there to there. I gotta tighten this up yet. I don't wanna do that right now before I forget. There's what we got. So that way I've got room to work. Um, probably could have made this one shorter. Well, that's gonna be once we get it hooked up outside, it's going to be something like that. So, that won't be too bad. Yeah, I could have, I got enough out there, I could have put a, just a whole stick on there. Thinking about it. Alright, I got to head outside, but first I'm going to put you guys on charger for a little bit. I left my other battery. Oh, I have another battery. Alright. Well, anyway, I'm gonna either gonna change your battery or I'm gonna put you on charge. I gotta take a break. It's super duper hot in here. But yeah, so that looks a little bit better. I know it's still down a little bit, but you know, that'll be all right. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten that up. Tighten the hot water line up and then we'll be good on the inside. Now, hopefully, Yeah, that'll be alright. Hopefully that spigot will work. <laughs> if it don't, I'll have to buy a new spigot because there's not a shut off on it. <laughs> alright guys, stick around. You guys know me better than that. <laughs> I couldn't leave it the way it was. Like that. Two couplers right there. Nah. Much better. All right, time to go outside. Okay, guys, um, I got this kind of prepped. Uh, I gotta hurry because the, the sun's coming out, but it's been pouring down rain off and on. So let's hurry up and let's get this on here. All right, now I gotta put the spigot in this thing and see how far up I gotta come to put my hoses on. Okay guys, we're back. Now I gotta move this out of the way. It's like that. I got some water coming up through there. It's just draining out of the house. Let me get that clean. Kind of get that soaked up a little bit. Alright. I know there should be valves on here, but it's outside. I'm not going to worry about it because I bought a couple caps. In case something goes wrong, I can cap it off. So... Okay. 
Alright, we're gonna put this down here. Hold that for a second. Put a little bit more glue. For a second, just like that. We're going to glue this pipe on. I am going to put a drain on it. I've got I've got the drain to put in it. I just it's not going to do it today. But it's not going to need a trap because what those traps do is keep odors from coming up your drain. This is outside. It's wide open. So I'm just going to run just a little drain down and out here, probably, so. Alright, now, i got to get a wrench. i got to tighten up the lines on the back of the sink. Excuse me. And then, uh, I'll kick you back on. We'll tighten them up here. Okay guys, let's get this in here. Had a couple marks on the wall, but they, uh, they got rained off. <laughs> One. Now, let's get this one down here. All right. Now, I'm going to let that set for a minute. I'm going to enjoy a cigarette. And then um, we'll come out, we'll turn the water on. just right here that switch there on the left that's the switch for the pump and that's our that's our uh, main shut off I also have a main you've probably seen it in there above the uh, uh, hot water tank so let me take a little break and I'll be back we'll check it out make sure it ain't leaking okay guys we're here now. <laughs> We're here. Monkey's over here. Yeah. Sorry about the wind. wind. You want to flip that switch? What one? The switch to turn the pump on. We'll let it pressurize and then I'll turn the flip it up. Ready, Bruno? One, two, three. So, funny, funny story. I wasn't thinking. I shut this off and then went in the house and turned the faucets on, made sure the water would drain down. I had that shut off. <sighs> Should have shut it off after I drained it down because there's, what, 60 feet of pipe from here to the pump and then however deep that pump is, you know, the well down to the pump. Mm -hmm. And it got me good. <laughs> I started cutting that valve off of there. All right, so we don't see any leaks here. No. That's a good thing. Yeah. All right. Just giving the pump a minute to build up pressure. All right, let's turn the water on. See what see what happens here. Mm. Yay, we got water! Oh, we got a leak. Oh, that's the hole. That's the hole in the bottom of the thing. I don't have a plug in it yet. Oh, I gotta get you the plug. Yeah, I asked her for that plug yesterday, I think it was. I forgot about it. No hot water. 
valve might be. Why is there no hot water? I don't know. Do I have a... Hang on. i got to go in the house and check, make sure there's no leaks. I'll be right back. I think I forgot to turn the main on in the house. Oh. That's sure enough what I did. I forgot to turn the main on in the house. Um, that shuts off that hot water, so... <laughs> Wow, that's hot immediately. Well, you know, it's so close to the tank now. But I'm going to let it run a minute. Because, you know, get all the... And I'm going to go in the house, turn the uh, water spigots on in the house, and uh, let them run for a minute. That, let it get all the air out of the lines and everything. And then we'll check together and make sure there's no leaks. I just did. I don't see anything yet, so... All right, let me go in the house, get them turned on. We'll let everything run for a minute, and I'll be back with you. Monkey found me the stopper. Needs an old, older style, but that's okay. There's a little drip, but that's from the drain. It's not leaking. The lines are not leaking. So, that's good. And we have no lines leaking here. So, that's good. Awesome. Hi guys. There you go. That was my project for today. Worked on it all day. It's not hard work, but I had to go back to the damn store twice because uh, well, the first time I told you the fittings, I got all the wrong fittings. Inside diameter and outside diameter. Uh, then I had to go back because I accidentally grabbed the um, the commode the feeder lines for the commode the supply line for for a commode instead of a sink so and i did pick me up a couple plugs in case that thing started leaking i can just unhook it put these plugs on so there you go that's what i did today so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it it's not really a how-to but it's just what i was doing today and i'll see you guys in the next one Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend, gone for now. We'll see you soon. Bye bye, guys, and take care.